Hello, it's Salimik. In today's video, we're gonna test and review ISO Heat. The product is not sponsored. I bought it with my own money. So it mentions that it cleans fuel injectors and removes water from fuel tank. We're gonna be doing two tests. The first one will be water removing, and the second one, if it can clean piston carbon buildup, I'm sure it will clean fuel injectors as well. Heat contains methanol, and it's water soluble. Let's see how it will remove the water. I'm gonna fill this cup with gasoline. Polystyrene cups is not chemical resistance, that's why it fogs a bit. I will put few drops of water relative to the amount of gasoline like we usually see in the fuel tank. Water won't get mixed with gasoline, even if you stir them, it will rest at the bottom due to having higher density than gasoline. Let's put some ISO heat and see if it's removed a drop of water. When it comes to removing water, it doesn't actually remove water, it's actually mixing with the water and helps burn like a gasoline. The drop of water disappeared and it actually removes water. It will help to prevent fuel line freezing if you are living in extreme cold weather. Alright, second test. We're gonna be doing carbon builder removing test. But first, let's remove the ignition coil and spark plugs to see how much carbon builder we have on the pistons before using ISO heat. All the spark plugs and ignition coils remove it. I like to put them just like cylinder orientation so I can see if any cylinder got any problem. Next, let's use endoscope camera to enter each cylinder to see how much carbon buildup we have before using ISO heat. Alright, entering cylinder number 1, we have some carbon buildup on the piston. It was much more than that before, but on my previous video, I used sea foam and it cleaned some of it. We can see some cleaned areas from previous video, but still we have carbon buildup. Okay, I'm gonna put everything back. Now we know how much carbon buildup we have and we will compare it after using ISO heat. It's gonna be a great challenge. All this carbon buildup you have now, Seafoam couldn't remove it even though I used the whole can directly. The video will be in the video description box below and YouTube card if you wanna check it out. ISO heat can treat up to 20 gallons. Here I have about 10 maybe. We're gonna pour it into the fuel tank and drive the car till the next refilling. If you guys have any good fuel cleaner or additive in mind that you think is good and worth trying, let me know. Alright, let's check if ISO heat good for cleaning carbon buildup. There's a big difference in the valve area, but still some left at the right side. Cylinder number 2. We can see all these carbons are gone, and also the valve areas as well. Cylinder number 3. All these carbons cleaned, and still some left here. Cylinder number 4, there is a big difference in the center of the piston, totally cleaned and starts showing piston edge here. So what do you guys think? Am I gonna buy it again? Yes I will. We saw some good changes on the piston head and also with absorbing water. Let me know which cleaner you want me to test in my future videos. Hope the video was helpful before spending money on ISO heat water removal. As always, thanks for tuning in, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.